Hello everyone. Hope you are having a great day. I am Farhan. You are watching educational YouTube channel Digi Mastery. In this video, we are starting Microsoft Excel series complete guide from beginner to advanced level. In this Excel beginner tutorial, I will give you a quick introduction to Excel so you can start to feel comfortable inside the application and I am showing to you just some basic layouts and you will have an idea where things are, how the spreadsheet is set up and how you can input values. I am using Windows 10 and Microsoft 2016 but if you are using other versions this beginner's tutorial will match quite closely. Let's start. When you open Excel on your desktop you get to this view. You can decide between a blank workbook or if you have opened a recent file in Excel you will see it here. In this case I am just going to go ahead and create a blank workbook. When it opens up, you should get a view similar to this. It might be slightly different. And if you look around, and now this is similar to other Microsoft product too. We had tabs across the top that you can click on to see something inside this tab. Lot of options we have. When I click home tab we see ribbon. So in the ribbon you have groups you can see here. So this group right here would be my found group. This is my alignment group through here. The different group are names and sometimes what show up here there is not enough room. So you can see that there is little button here to push. If I click this, you will even get some more option on this. Every time you click on a tab, the options in the menu bar change. The most common one is the home tab. Here's where you can do formatting and common tab like inserting, deleting, editing or sorting and filtering data. If I go to the insert tab, I can insert a chart here or insert pivot tables. We have our tabs and then a ribbon and then our groups. In Microsoft Excel, you can see this blank area that is worksheet. A single Excel file is also referred to as a workbook or a spreadsheet. This workbook is not saved until you decide to do so. To save the workbook, just go here, quick access toolbar on the title bar. Click on save and then you can decide where you want to save it. You can also use the shortcut key, Control S. Here you can see zoom in, zoom out, selection zoom in, selection zoom in option. I can remove these from quick access toolbar. How these icon appear, it's very simple. Just click on this down arrow and go to more commands and select all commands option and scroll down in last of that list. Now here you can click on zoom in, add, zoom out, add, selection zoom in and add and press OK. You will see here on quick access toolbar. A workbook consists of at least one sheet. You can easily add more sheets by clicking on the plus here. When you double click on a sheet name, you can change the name and then press enter. A sheet contains many box. Here is a single cell. You can input numbers or text in here. Just start typing and then press enter. If you just go to that cell and start typing. You don't have to double click. You can type over it. Each cell has an address. 
What do you think? The address of this cell is. It is E4, which means column E, row 4. The intersection of a column and a row is a cell. Up here, you have the formula bar. Once we input text here, we can see it in the formula bar. If I move to the cell to the side, there is nothing there. Now if instead of text, you have formula. So if I go to the side here, type in an equal and then go with my arrow key and then go with my arrow keys to E4 and press enter. Notice what is in the formula bar? It has the formula and not the text. In this case, there is no formula. It shows the text in formula bar. Now the left here, we have the name box. This also shows us the active cell address. So in this case, it is E4. When I go here, it is G4. Now here is a useful tip for you. You can also use this to jump to a specific cell. Just type in the cell address. So let's say I want to jump to C50. I am going to type it in. Press enter and I jump to that cell. Now to jump back to the first cell, you can use the shortcut key control home on the Excel grid you can select multiple rows or multiple columns just go with your mouse and highlight the rows or highlight columns just select and drag there are also a lot of shortcuts in Excel you can use so for example the shortcut key control space select an entire column is first cell and E8 is last cell that is called group of cell or range if I want
from the formula bar. When I am here, there is nothing in that cell. To expand the column, I can move my uh, I can move my mouse pointer, my cursor over here and just drag. Or I can double click to make the column expand.